So here we are, the tail end of Blink, and uh, <clears throat> we, we're, we're sitting in Europe, and there's like the biggest shows I've ever played in my life, pretty much. I mean, we're, we're having like 17,000 some people in lights like, screaming and chanting and breaking the walls down, Blink, Blink, you know. And we're backstage like crying and screaming at each other, all about, you know, 12 years of bullshit kind of leading up and uh, all coming out those like few nights. And we think we kind of patched it up, you know? We, we went through everything. I mean, for days and days, we would argue and just get it all out. And, you know, you know, I'm not starting a solo bit record or Boxcar wasn't meant to do that or all I want to do is blink, you know, but I need to be with my family and all these things. And it was all out. And then I said, okay, well, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to take six months off because that's what I need, but I'll start, um, I'll start demoing. Uh, doing demos and I think the idea of me doing demos by myself sparks more fear again but in my mind I knew that the only way that I can produce my songwriting uh, you know at that point in my life to make it evolve I knew I had to do it with computers and I didn't know how to do that so I, I just wanted to lock myself in a room and learn how to use that as a tool well I think those guys might have saw that as me trying to leave them out of the recording process, which wasn't my intent at all. It was like, it, to me, it was, the, it was the equivalent of the way I play guitar and write songs at home anyways. But I'm gonna grab a new tool and try and put some demos together. And <clears throat> but like I said, it was all like this fear thing. And then we have a practice and, and, and the arguments heated up again. They all start coming down on me again. All the stuff we talked about f for like, the arguments for a week and whatever, like crazy. like. We were so exhausted after those arguments that when that stuff came up again, I couldn't even believe that we were bringing it up again. There was nothing left to say. Like, so much so, like, there was so much nothing left. We've all, I mean, we were so emotionally drained and so, like, like it was like such a gnarly wound that opened up and we healed it. Then all of a sudden the band just got ripped right back off. And we're like, are you, sir? like, I cannot believe we're going to start talking about this again. And that was the last day that that band existed in this rehearsal studio in Los Angeles. And, um, and it was such a bum out because they're such great guys and that was such a great band. But I just knew, you know, some things were said that, that I know they didn't mean, but it wasn't, it wasn't that they said these things. It was more about, I just knew that the view they had about where they wanted to take music or what they wanted to do in their own lives or how much they wanted to be gone or what they wanted the band to, to mean in their life it was different than, than myself. It's not that I didn't want to play music or be the biggest band in the world or travel or whatever. It was like I needed to be home with my family at that moment and, it, it, and they didn't need to at that moment. So I think it, it was, we were butting heads. So here I go. So I'm walking out of the rehearsal studio and, uh, and I look over at Doug, my guitar tech, and I said, meet me in a few weeks. I have another thing in mind. I drove home, and as I'm driving home, I wait about five miles, and I make a phone call to our manager, and I said, I said, hey, um, I can't do this anymore. And he's like, are you serious? And I go to his house. We walk along the beach. It's midnight in San Diego. Talk about everything. I just I can't do it anymore. And I can't even imagine what I would say. I can't even imagine arguing anymore. I can't even imagine going through. Um, he's like, why, could, why do you think you're going to have to argue again? Why do you think you're going to have to? Because, well, I just know I will. We went through, you know, weeks of it, like, weeks of it. Like, what am I going to say again? And so that's why I had Madger call. I said, you know what, just make the phone call, tell him I'm going away. 